In this tutorial, we will go over the steps to successfully use the IRS Data Retrieval Tool for the FAFSA on the web. If you and or your parent file taxes, the IRS Data Retrieval Tool can electronically transfer you and or your parents' tax information onto the FAFSA. Here are some of the benefits to using the IRS Data Retrieval Tool. 1. You already have the information, since the FAFSA is using prior year tax information. 2. You will not have to order a physical tax return transcript from the IRS. 3. All the tax information on the FAFSA will be confirmed by the IRS, which shortens the verification process with your school. In the Student and Parent Financial Information sections, you will be prompted to select a tax filing status. Once you update a tax filing status from Will Filed to Already Completed, you and or your parents will be asked the following questions. 1. Have you filed a Puerto Rican or foreign tax return? 2. Have you filed a Form 1040X amended tax return? If you and or your parents select No for both of these questions, the option to use the IRS Data Retrieval Tool will be displayed. You will need to enter your and or your parents' FSA ID and password, then select Link to the IRS. If you choose to use the IRS Data Retrieval Tool, you will be notified that you are leaving FAFSA on the web. Click OK. Now enter the requested information. Be sure you enter all information such as addresses, names, birthdays. Remember, this information must match exactly with the information on your and or your parents' tax return. Click Submit. Once the IRS has verified your identity, your tax information will display. Click Transfer Now and you will be returned to FAFSA. Keep in mind that the IRS Data Retrieval Tool transfer is not complete until you sign and submit the FAFSA with the IRS Data Retrieval Tool changes. When returning to the FAFSA, questions that are populated with IRS data will be flagged as Transferred from the IRS. If you are selected for verification, your school may choose to use IRS data for verification purposes instead of requesting a tax return transcript. If you have any further questions, please contact your school's financial aid office. Thank you for watching this tutorial. We hope it helped.